Adam Fierstein, we're still in the midst of biotech earnings season. So what are the big storylines for next week? You know, uh, investors always see interested in Dendrion, and it's, you know, it's prostate cancer therapy Provenge. Um, Dendrion is going to report on Monday. Uh, the consensus estimate for Provenge sales is, a, is about $86 million. Well, just checking out Dendrion stock price, it's been slumping due to concerns about competition from other prostate cancer drugs. So what uh, else might investors hear from the company on Monday that ha they haven't heard before? Yeah, I'd listen for more talk from Dendrion's management uh, about restructuring, uh, potentially even closing one of its manufacturing plants. Um, as you noted, I, I expect Dendrion to get a lot of questions about Provenge, you know, now that competing drugs from Johnson & Johnson and Medivation are set to enter its space. All right. I think Vertex Pharmaceuticals also comes out on Monday. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, Greg. Um, you know, here investor sentiment on, on Vertex is bearish towards sale of its hepatitis C drug, Incivec. Uh, with many expecting reported sales to fall short of the $370 million consensus. Now, on the other hand, the Vertex investment story has really kind of been more about its cystic fibrosis drugs, uh, and here the company is, is expected to do very well. Uh, the consensus sales estimate for Calideco, uh, that's Vertex's um, CF drug, is $42 million. Uh, I won't be surprised to see actual sales beat that estimate. Anything else to watch for with Vertex? Yeah, you know, the street has been expecting Vertex to release data on some early stage uh, hepatitis C drugs. Um, those, these data are a bit overdue, so hopefully we're going to get to see them on Monday. This market is stock tickers market. Stocks have rallied this year. We're coming into a Monday where we're going to.